morning once more. So um, we are supposed to continue now with the same type of uh, foundation. But then the specific bed we are making is called um, kajak bed. So if you are doing a kajak bed, meaning that you are supposed to look out for the indications, why are you doing kajak bed? So this kajak bed, we make, we make it because this patient is dysmic or this patient has got any respiratory condition meaning that maybe they are becoming restless if they lie down flat, so we should be able to prop them up. So we need to make this bed so that at least the patient is comfortable and be able to breathe properly. So if you if you are able to remember, we should look out for respiratory conditions and then make a cardiac bed. Or apart from respiratory conditions, cardiac conditions. For example, this patient has got congestive heart failure, so meaning they will be dysmic. So we need to prop them up. So the requirements for this bed are: we need to make top, uh, uh, you know, top uh, uh, linen, so which we are supposed to make as usual. But then the difference is that we should have a splitter mug. So this is uh, an improvised splitter mug where the patient should be able to spit, because most of them have, have to spit because of the cough. So they will spit using a splitter mug. Then we have this. Uh, accessory which is a backrest. A backrest is supposed to be put uh, here on the head end of the bed. It will be on this part of the bed or head end of the bed so that the patient should be propped up. So backrests come in different forms. There are those which are adjustable and there are those which are fixed. So even this, even if it's fixed, you can try to also improvise and see which one will suit the patient or which side will suit the patient. So there are those which are adjustable, there are those which come in, are made as in, in plastic, there are those which are metallic, so you have to just go with what you have. But at least the patient should be comfortable. Then the next accessory that we're going to use, we're going to use the cardiac table. This is a cardiac table on which the patient should be able to lean or where you're going to place the splitter mark. So these things make up the cardiac table. So that's the difference. So when we start in terms of um, how we make a bed, the foundation should always be the same. So we have already made the foundation, we're just going to make the top part. And after we make the top part, then we add the accessories that make up the cardiac bed. So it's simple to follow, just remember when you're making a metal occupied bed or any other type of bed apart from divided. So these other beds, it will be the same, but we just add accessories. They're the ones that make a difference. So let's start my assistant with the top uh, bed sheet. So as usual, we're going to unfold. Okay, and then throw it inside. Then move a step so that we make um, a metered corner. So we do that. Fold. Then we pull this side. Okay. Again, we have to pick the blanket, so step. Then move back, okay, good. then we unfold. So do not make unnecessary movements unless where it's needed. So in this case, if you are short, you can't bend to do that because you are going to strain your back. So you have to move a step again, okay? Then we fold. Okay. Okay. Back again, let's pick. ensure that uh, linen is centered so you can see if you hold it okay so in this case it's centered so let's go okay okay so you can make it straight there okay. so in this case what you're trying to make is um, an occupied bed so occupied bed remember this the sign the sign has to be the bed sheet on top of everything so let's go this has to be folded inwards. So the counterpane to be folded inwards. Okay. Then also the blanket inwards. So the counterpane will be on top of the blanket like that. Okay. Then the bed sheet on top of everything because it's a sign to say that this bed is occupied bed. There's a patient to be here. So let's now get the accessories. So the first accessory we are going to use is the backrest. 
press it on like that. So you can start with uh, two hard pillows, which will be there, then followed by uh, two soft pillows. So you can put two hard pillows, then two soft pillows, so that the patient is comfortable. So we're going to have the technique we're going to make the pillows. Okay, so we're going to get the pillows. So you can get even four. Now in this case, we have three, so you can still use three because that's what you have available. So let's use what you have. So let's see now the technique. So I'm going to follow the same, the same technique. Okay. I hold it like this, inside out. Then my assistant holds the pillow. Then he grabs the pillow slip, like that. Then finishes it off. He finish it off. Then I get another pillow slip. It's already inside out, so I can just Go ahead and slide my arms there. Okay. Then grab onto the pillow. Like that. Then we'll finish it off. Or I get another pillow slip. So you need to instruct your assistant because in an exam, we do not expect your assistant to be doing things freely without your command. So your assistant should be always on your command. So he has to also get the same, and I grab on, and you finish off. So he has to wait for your command. So don't let your assistant do things without you commanding your assistant. So you have to command your assistant, and then your assistant will do. Okay. So how you make? You can start with uh, two hard pillows. You can do that. So in case you have four, you do that. You put two hard pillows behind. Okay and then two soft pillows. You can do that, or maybe you can try to improvise. You can start it that way, then two pillows will follow like that. So it depends on what you have. So if the patient will be comfortable like this, you can end here, but you can put another pillow there so that the patient is more comfortable, okay? So this is the first step on top of the back rest. So this is what you do. Then the next thing that we're going to have is uh, the cardiac table. So cardiac table is got wheels, you can do that. Then you can ask your assistant, maybe you can remove in the, the, the chairs to create more space. So if it can go in on its own, you can just slide it in like that, and then it's there. So if you find out that maybe the, the, uh, the bed is maybe uh, too high, you can try to get maybe the cardiac table which is also high so that it can be like this. Okay? So you can try and find so that this can be okay. So you can get a sputum mark for the patient, you can put it there. So if the patient wishes to lean forwards, you can find another pillow which is soft and place it on top of the cardiac table so that the patient can use his elbows to place there if it makes him comfortable. So you can choose which position makes the patient comfortable, okay? But at least the patient should be propped up or should be in a certain position. So this is called a cardiac bed. So if there are any questions, we'll do a return demo so that at least you can be able to catch or grasp the concept. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Okay, bye.